50 today the devil is in trouble I will never fail I know Jesus says I will never leave you nor forsake you and when you focus on him he will carry you there I know all the testimonies that the world give or attach to you, to me, especially standing here, I know it's failed. Come what me, I'm a victim. Amen. I'm not a victim. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to pray for the offering, please. Father, we exalt your holy name because we labored and you led us to your sanctuary to give unto you. Father, the abundance that you've given unto us brought just a little. Father, may it go a far much greater places to do great things in your kingdom. And Father, as many as give unto you, may you replenish it a hundredfold in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah God. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. you can see the excitement not just excitement and happiness but the joy uh, I would then forgive myself and my spirit would be free if I hadn't made the consultation that we make my call on Bishop touch Malanga please to pray especially for Pastor Dan when somebody gives a message like this you know the virtues that is been lost let me just keep my voice Praise the Lord, somebody. Let's rise up. Let's sing this song. One minute, sing this. Fall in love. Let's go together. Fall in love. Fall in love. With Jesus. Thank you. 
Gangari precisely that was where I was resident. It was a ghetto area and the only Equa church there has been burnt out and destroyed now the fellowship at a small hall in the Equa headquarters in Jos. That was where we started the Covenant Brotherhood. It has been challenging and turmoil. But God has taken us far. He went to Kano after working in Jos at Harry Travel Agency has bought a clerk and a cashier, and that was why he was so perfect in typing then. I remember he was typing a number of the things we were doing the youth fellowship. I was then assistant secretary, I was in school, he was working then. Eventually, he became one of the leaders of the youth fellowship, and God has used him tremendously. I wish this time that I, I composed myself to tell you so much about who he is. He got married to his wife, Vicky, in my very presence. I remember the day that she was brought home, I was there. And then she was like, you know, the normal thing with Amadea, I knew where that wife was born in Amsterdam. <laughs> and they had their first child, a very wonderful boy. I can remember his name, Jeff. And unfortunately, the evil one did his work. They lost that child at a very premature young age. I know how much that deeply touched him. I know how much it really, really, it shook him from the fibers of his being. But to the glory of God, God still used him. He was in Kano, I went to, I went to work for the government and security department in Lagos, we lost touch, and then we had touch again when he was in Israel, I was continuing in the youth ministry, God was using him where he was, and he was in Epa in Kano, where the former Epa president was then ministering as a pastor, and then divinely, divinely, something, when, when we got talking after I lost my job with the federal government. He said, why not come over to Israel? And I told him, no, I'm thinking actually of a friend in the U.S. and perhaps I'm thinking more of the U.S. You know, the ain't in Africa was Africa as more towards Europe and the U.S., not Israel. <laughs> so eventually he told me something. He had a way of convincing me that I didn't really like because I know how persuasive you could be. I'm telling you what I know I can say about you by then. So I was like, no. So eventually I had a chance. To the glory of God, an opportunity came come for me to be in Israel. And I gave him a call. I was coming. We were actually keeping in touch. And when we came, it was the same. But the same flow, he wanted me to move everything. He was very, very active in the different those who knew. He has a passion for God and Christ. Despite the challenges that some of you might have known earlier in Israel before I came in, he still did not miss out in the action of the house of the Lord. So that's one very great, wonderful thing I admire about him. God used him by the time we started the contact for April Israel. He was a little bit whatever for some circumstances. He knows better we did talk about it. But some of you who didn't know the history of Equa Israel, I was supposed to say this part later in the announcement. We are connecting prayerfully to celebrating Equa being in Israel. Then, then you will know exactly what happened. So for those who did not know, even though when we started, he wasn't connected with us. I know spiritually he was with us. And to God be the glory, 
He's been made the church planter equal Israel. Amen. Fully accredited. Like some people will say, it's not Obadiah's church. It's not Pastor Obadiah's church. He did not start his church. So please, because we are in the form of kind of saying some very funny things, let me say it on the on the pulpit. It is not his church. If we can make a church with him, I mean, we can connect and have our church, but we are not called into that. God says Equa would be in Israel. Because it is a diverse church beyond us. Beyond us. It is far beyond us. We can't manipulate things in Equa. And that is why we are, we are ordinary people. And I thank God. We argue, we quarrel on issues on Equa. Pastor Bishop Touch, you might not easy. Yes, I know. He's not it because this is where we raise our house. But it's to make Equa great. It's not because of our egos, of our, of our differences. I want you to bear that witness today as people who God has made to be here. Because we want the spirit of perfection to be in the church in Israel. And I pray with the message, with the prayers, that God, I know in my spirit, in my mind, this 15th birthday that he's celebrating today, God has a way in his arithmetic of numbers and the dynamics of the spiritual realm of numbers. Something profound and unique is going to happen in this I know my discussion will be I know what I discussed to have to yeah. You don't know what you're missing out if you think you're outside the church and that's where you want to get your blessing you're missing out. Perhaps you see something about the papers that have been issued to mothers and fathers in Israel. That is a sign that God is going to do something Amen. in Israel. If you are out, you're going to miss out. The place for you to be is in the church. That's right. And that's why I'm celebrating right. this day today as if it is my birthday. Amen. Amen. I want to praise and really, really say thank you to our friendship. The devil has been trying to do some funny things, which I'm very conscious of and he is aware. But to the glory of God, the tomorrow that God will destined is far, far greater. This is just a small thing that we're doing for God. It's the smallest thing. I know it in my spirit. So God bless you, my brother, my covenant brother. It has been a long journey. You don't have a friend for 20 years and above. You don't. A long time of my friends are dead. He knows it. And the same thing he was selling most of his friends are dead today. He celebrated 50th birthday. So young and vibrant and dynamic. So please, this is the little story about Obadiah. He has a wife in Tokyo today. She's been supportive to him. She's been wonderful. Amen. And I know Amen. God will bless her. They have children. Amen. Their first son is finished secondary school. He's about going to university soon. Two of them have finished secondary school. Thank you for that correction. So it's not just a friendship that is just beyond. I've been to their house in their village. I can tell you his first name, Obadiah Nkawa Alkali. I can tell you where his village is. He has been to my village in one local government of Black He slept in my father's house. I've often slept in his father's house. So it's not a just by the name market friendship. So please do well to understand the dynamics of the time. There are things that are going to happen in Israel. I know I don't say the things that I don't know, that my spirit did not connect to other great men of God. God has started using men in Israel, and he's one of them. I'm one of them. Please key in and connect, because there is a profound union.